What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over LinkedIn ads event specific conversion tracking. So if you have something like a button on your website like this one here that says start your free trial, I'm going to be showing you how to track a button like this one on your website today. So we're going to get started in our LinkedIn campaign manager account and I'm going to open up my account now. And what we're going to do to set up conversion tracking is on the left hand side you're going to see analyze and we're going to choose conversion tracking from the drop down list. And then what you want to do is create a new conversion and we're going to choose an online conversion. Now the very first thing is going to be naming our conversion. So let's just say start your free trial event. Okay, so we're going to call this an event because it's an event specific conversion that we'll be tracking. Now the key conversion behavior you want to track, you can choose whatever the main thing people are doing on your website. So there's a lot of different options here, applying for a job, booking an appointment. For this, let's just say start trial. And let's say the value of every conversion is $50. So you can set your value of the conversion here if you know what that conversion is worth for your business. Otherwise, what you could always do is just set this as a one and every conversion will just come in as $1. So I will put this as $50. We'll say every new trial drives $50 of revenue to my business. So we'll scroll down here. The next two things are going to be selecting the time frame for when the conversion can be counted for clicks and views. So for clicks, basically after the click occurs, how long to track this as a conversion after somebody clicks on one of your LinkedIn ads. I'm gonna make this longer and do 90 days. And then for any time someone views my LinkedIn ads, I'll say 30 days. We'll count that as a conversion and tie it back to LinkedIn ads. Now selecting the attribution model to specify how each ad interaction is credited, I choose last touch each campaign here. And then we're gonna go on to the next step. With the next step, what you can do is apply this conversion to specific campaigns that you've already created. So if you're already running campaigns, you can do that now. However, what I'm gonna do is just click on the next step and you can always apply the conversion that you're creating to campaigns that you haven't created yet or campaigns that you've created and you want to go back and add that conversion to. So you can always add this later. So we're going to go to next step now and go to the sources section. Now what we want to do instead of manually setting up the conversion, we're going to use a tag manager because it's much easier to use a tag manager in my opinion. And we're going to be using Google tag manager. So what we need to do is make sure we actually install Google tag manager on our website. So we need to do that now. So coming back over to our LinkedIn campaign manager, we're going to scroll down after we click on use a tag manager, we're going to scroll down here. And what you're going to see is your partner ID, your insight tag ID. So let's copy this code right now. And that's all we're going to do for right now. We're going to go back over to Google tag manager. And now if you haven't installed Google tag manager on your website already, go to the admin section of tag manager and then go to install Google tag manager. And then you need to paste this piece of code underneath the opening head tag and this piece of code underneath the opening body tag. The easiest way to do that for a WordPress website is to install the head footer and post injections plugin. You can find this directly through the plugin store on WordPress. So when you go to your WordPress website and you go to the back end of your WordPress website, go to plugins, add new search head footer and post injections. And then when you install it and activate it, it will be underneath your settings and it will say header and footer. So what you're going to see here is there's a head page section injection and then after the opening body tag. So coming over to our Google tag manager account, copy this piece of code right here, coming back into our head footer and post injections plugin, paste that piece of code right here to go underneath the opening head tag on every single page on your website. Then we're gonna scroll down here and then after the opening body tag, we need to come back to Google Tag Manager, copy this piece of code, come back over to our head footer and post injections plugin, paste that here, paste that here, click on mobile, scroll to the bottom and click on save. Now all you need to do to complete your Google Tag Manager installation is go back to your Tag Manager account one more time, go to your workspace, and then what you need to do is submit your workspace. So come over and submit your workspace and that will complete your installation. You can add a name and description here if you wanna add a detailed name and description to see what changes you made in the, this time when you actually publish your Google Tag Manager account. I'm just gonna put one, two, three because I've already done this before. So right now what you can see is that we've now installed Google Tag Manager on our website. So let's come back to our workspace and now what we wanna do is actually install first off the LinkedIn Insight tag on every page on our website. So we're gonna to go to the new tag, click on add a new tag, click on tag configuration, 
And then what you want to do is click on discover more tag types in the community template gallery. So select this here, click on search, click search LinkedIn, and you're going to see LinkedIn insight tag 2.0. That's what you want to add to your existing tag. So when we click on it, you can add this to your existing tags. You're going to accept the permissions that it tells you to accept. Come back over here, come back to your tags. And then when you search LinkedIn insight tag, you'll see two options here, LinkedIn insight and LinkedIn insight tag 2.0. This is the one that you want to use to install the LinkedIn insight tag on your website and also to install event specific conversions on your website. So we're going to have to do this twice and have different settings both times. So let's do the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0, come back to our LinkedIn Ads account, copy our code right here, just the six digit number, go back to Google Tag Manager, paste this right here. So now we have the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0 and we have our partner ID here, our Insight Tag ID. Name your tag, LinkedIn Insight Tag. And then we're gonna go down to triggering here and we're gonna trigger this on all pages. So basically what we're telling Google Tag Manager is make sure you put our LinkedIn Insight tag so we can track everything that happens on every page on our website. Click on save. And now what you can do is submit this version and once you do that, you've now added the LinkedIn Insight tag to your website. Now the next thing you wanna do is we're gonna come over here on the left to variables. So you wanna make sure you add a specific variable here. You don't have to do this right now. You can always do this later. But in the built-in variables here, you can see I've already added click text. If you click on configure here, and then you scroll down, you're gonna see clicks. So you can choose a bunch of these built-in variables and add them to your Google Tag Manager. Click on click text, and that will add this built-in variable to your list of variables here. So that will be important in an upcoming step that we take. So we're gonna come back to tags. And now before we add our next tag here, you could either do this from the tag screen or the overview screen. We're going to come back to our LinkedIn ads account, scroll down. You're going to see preferred methods with insight tag for this one. We're going to choose event specific conversions are counted when members take an action on your website. So that is going to be every time someone clicks on this button on our website or any button that says start your free trial on our website, we want to track that as a conversion. So let's come back over again to our LinkedIn ads account. And what you need now is the conversion ID for Google Tag Manager, and you also need your partner ID. So let's come back to Google Tag Manager real quick. You could do this from the tag screen, click on new to create a new tag, or just directly from your overview screen, you can also do a new tag right here. Click on tag configuration. We're gonna be doing the LinkedIn Insight tag again and LinkedIn Insight tag 2.0. Again, if you haven't added this to your tags already, look for it in the community template gallery. So LinkedIn Insight tag 2.0. We need to first paste our partner ID here. So come back over to our LinkedIn ads account. We will copy this code and we will paste our partner ID right here. Next, we need to add our conversion ID. So let's come back over to LinkedIn again, copy the conversion ID paste that right here. So now we have our partner ID, our conversion ID, our LinkedIn Insight tag 2.0. Let's name this tag and we will say LinkedIn Insight tag event specific conversion. Okay, so now we need to choose when to make this tag fire. So we need to trigger this tag. So click on the triggering section and for this one, you're not gonna be doing all pages. What you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be clicking on the plus sign up here and creating a new trigger. So we're gonna click on trigger configuration and the click is going to be all elements. So you're gonna come down here to click, click on all elements. And then what you wanna do is this trigger fires on some clicks. So cl some of the clicks on the links on our website. So when the click text contains, you could either do contains, equals, you could do starts with, you could probably do ends with, you could do a bunch of these, but I just generally use contains. Come back over to our page I copy the text exactly how it looks in the back end of my website. So start your free trial. I make sure it is exactly the way it looks when it's on my button on my website. So come back over to your Google Tag Manager. When the click text contains start your free trial, so basically the exact text that people are actually clicking for the link that I've created. So it's not where they're going. It's not anything else, but what's between your A tags here. So come back over to Google Tag Manager. So what we need to do is name this trigger. So we'll say click text 
start your free trial. Okay, so click all elements. This trigger fires when the click text contains start your free trial. Click on save. So this is what yours should look like. Now I had to rename mine click text start your free trial too because I already had one named click text start your free trial when I was preparing for this video. So LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0, Partner ID, Conversion ID, you get all of this from your LinkedIn Ads account. Triggering, we're on our fire, firing trigger, click text, start your free trial. So anytime someone clicks on something that says start your free trial, we'll click on save here. Now we need to submit our workspace. You can add a descriptive name and a description. So I have my version name, version description here, and we can click on publish. Now once we do that, and once this publishes successfully, we wanna come back over to our LinkedIn Ads account you don't need to do anything with this when you're using Google Tag Manager. You just need this conversion ID here. And if we scroll down here, all you need to do is click on create. That will create this conversion. And now this conversion should be tracking properly. If you see right here, I have start your free trial button click. It's already active. I set it up the same exact way I set up this one. So you can see that this should work for you with using an event specific tag by using Google Tag Manager. Just make sure you install Google Tag Manager on your website using the head footer and post injections plugin. And then the main thing is what you're tracking essentially is anytime someone clicks on text and there's a link. So if it's this specific text, if I were to change it to this, it would not track it properly. So you need to make sure your text matches exactly what it says in Google Tag Manager. And then once you do that, you should be able to track these successfully back into your account. And you can, when you create your advertising campaigns, you can make sure you're optimizing for this event specific conversion. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.